Hey YouTube, welcome to Good Old Boy Gaming. Today is going to be the first installment of our top insert number here, Tuesday. Could be 5, could be 10, just depends on how we feel. With Apex Season 3 being a week away, we decided to do the top 5 things that we would like to see in Apex Season 3. Drop in the comments below what you would like to see in Season 3. And with that, let's get gaming! Coming in at number 5, we would have to say the map needs some more drastic changes or a completely different map as nice as king's canyon is it's been dry here for way too long so you could have maybe some flooding in skull town and the dome make it a little bit harder for mobility in those areas or you could have a sandstorm possibly or even just add a new map i think a lot of features like octane's gauntlet were nice additions in season two but for Season 3, I really do think they need to ramp up map replayability. Because Kings Canyon's starting to get stale. And an area or two is not going to save the map. As much as I love Apex, having just one map and changing little features about it isn't a way to keep long-term players. It's going to be more of short term oh let me come back to this when I get a chance and if players are coming back to it when they get a chance they're not gonna buy the battle pass they're not gonna buy other skins which is how respawn you know keeps the game going so I think it's extremely important that they get something really new during this time outside of legends I think they really need to shift in the map to show that they're willing to put in the work to kind of keep players in the game. Coming in at number four, we have a better training mode. Now, I know this is going to sound weird and people are going to be like, oh, well, why do we need a better training mode? What could that possibly do? This would be something easy to add for respawn. And I think it would benefit not only newer players, but older players and it doesn't have to be that great of a change but instead of just having all the weapons here you could also have attachments to go along with them for example if you want to see the difference in bullet drop with a long bow with a barrel and a stock compared to oh well if i only have these attachments so you can spend a little bit more time labbing inside of the training mode and really getting your bullet drop down, really getting, okay, this is how much um, the R99 is for TTK. Having more lifelike targets, like a target with a purple shield, a target with a blue shield, a target with uh, helmets and things like that. So that way you could really pinpoint when to use certain weapons and when to get everything together. And also, it would be nice if they took down that mountain range there so you could actually see your bullet drop. Because if you look with the longbow, and it's, it's a heavy weapon, so it's got one of the biggest bullet drops. I mean, I guess you could run up here and do it, but then you're shooting downhill and still having no scope trying to figure out exactly where you're going. It's nice to be able to ping. So but you can see it's only about 170 meters. And at 170 meters, there's not really a lot of bullet drop off. There's a little bit, but it'd also be nice if I could tell like, oh, okay, that's where you break a shield. Because as you know, the shields don't really have numbers. A person's health is 100 to 120, I think. But shields are just kind of random numbers for most newer players. So I think that would be a lot more helpful to get, you know, just a little bit extra into practice mode so that we can test things out better and when a patch comes out, we can show the patch a little bit better because you really don't know the full optimization of a gun until you get some attachments on it. And coming in at number three, we have, have permanent game modes. Now, this one for us is real big because we loved Armed and Dangerous. It was such a fun game mode. It was so nice. Um, and it was a really different change of pace 
Singles was nice, but we like playing as a group. So we'd really like to see quads. But we can dream. But we'd also like to see game modes stay in the games permanently. And we understand this is an issue because maintenance and things like that on the servers. And it's not just a simple, oh, well, well let's just keep this game mode forever. But it would be nice to have respawn keep singles to keep armed and dangerous. Just something outside of regular and ranked apex. And the temporary game modes are fun and you can cycle them out every once in a while. But I don't think in Season 3 there should ever be a moment where Armed and Dangerous ends. And then it just goes back to the regular playlist. I think if Armed and Dangerous ends, singles comes back up. If singles goes down, quads come up. It always needs to be in nice rotation. Shut up, Pathfinder. I hate you. But it would be nice for Respawn to be able to keep uh, new, fresh game modes in at least every two weeks. I know that seems like it's a lot to ask for. But like I said, if you're rotating out game modes, it doesn't have to be exactly brand new the entire time. But what it does have to do is not go away. Because I love regular Apex, don't get me wrong. But it when it's the only game mode to play, I kind of go to different games. Because it's not as interesting if it's the only thing there. Coming in at number two, we have more weapon attachments. For example, the Mozambique here in Titanfall 2, if you check out our last video, actually is a six round gun, not a three round. And so adding a clip, maybe a gray clip, could turn it from three to four, blue four to five, and purple would be its six round and if you get a gold maybe an eight but i think eight's pushing it i think six is a good number for the mozambique would put it more in line with the other shotguns the peacekeeper and the eva eight don't need this attachment so it would be nice if it was specifically just for the mozambique another example would be the hemlock the hemlock's burst fire is nice and i know you know, headshots with this weapon absolutely destroy. But if it had an attachment like a select fire, which would turn it to full auto, maybe with an extremely slow fire rate, but still a full auto. Or like if you've played other games and it's still a burst, but you can hold down the trigger, that would greatly increase the hemlock and put it more on par with the R99 more of a distance R99. You also, another gun would be the G7 Scout here. The G7 Scout entirely needs something. I'm not sure exactly what it needs, but it needs a little more punch to keep up with the other sniper rifles. Because the drop in distance is just it's just not competing with a longbow and the triple take. There's absolutely no need to pick up a G7 Scout if you actually plan on sniping instead of mid-range combat. And if you plan on mid-range combat, you might as well pick up the R301 or the R99. Or the flatline. Or just about any other weapon. So the G7 Scout really doesn't have... It doesn't have a place compared to every other weapon. Coming in in our number one spot, we're hoping for Titanfall. Of course, a lot of people have anticipated this and a lot of people have been hoping for it. But the fact of the matter is, I can see how it's difficult for Respawn to do. But we have two suggestions. One would be to have a Titan specifically for each character. Uh, I know that would make it so Respawn would have to create a few more Titans, because if you look back at our Titanfall 2 video, there's not enough Titans for how many characters there are in Apex, so there would have to be a few more designs. 
But some of the Titans match up really well to characters. For example, Scorch matches up very well with Caustic. And Legion matches up very well with Gibraltar. Because they both already have the uh, set shield around their weapon. Also, you could go with Titan-only game mode. So it would just be titans that would drop in but the titans would be the same size as the characters instead of being their massive normal selves but the only problems that we see with that is the way the ammo system works because each titan has its own different gun so would you have to say that tone and legion would be heavy scorch would be more energy ammo things like monarch would be light ammo and ronin would be shotgun ammo or could you go an entire game and be looking for a specific piece of ammo and not find it? Would you already have your guns? Would they already have attachments? So it's a bit of a different thing. I think it would work better if you were in a separate playlist and you got a certain amount of kills and after that certain amount of kills you were able to get Titanfall. Now that is going to discourage some players from playing the game because they're like, oh, I don't get that many kills. But I think it would be an interesting game mode just to bring in the Titans for a little bit and to see exactly how Respawn could do it. I think there's a lot of potential there and it's nice for all of us who did play Titanfall 2 and thoroughly enjoyed it and are waiting for a Titanfall 3. But, you know we will see.